right, what's happening guys? So this video is gonna be a little bit different from the videos you've been watching on my channel. It's not necessarily gonna be kind of like a vlog mixed in with training. It's just gonna be a training log. So it's like a, a, a trog, a tr trog, tr let's just say training log. Okay, so today was Tuesday, which is now my squat day, or my heavy squat day, and we executed a three by one pause squat. Now, just like kind of retracking on the start of this program, Joey has thrown in pause squats to kind of help me find my depth and uh, kind of get me comfortable with being at depth. So whenever we do pause squats, we follow it up with volume just to kind of set in the depth that I want to hit for the workout. So following my three by one on pause squats with 565 pounds, we moved on to a three by nine with 495 pounds. Now I did that first initial set at an RP of seven with I believe 525 pounds, but you know, it's that classic my camera didn't record it, so I wasn't able to put it on the video. And it turns out that I was only actually able to record uh, the two sets with 495 pounds. Now, if you notice, this first set with 495 pounds is a little bit faster than what I, I would like. Like, I'm not going, it's not happening right now, but those first maybe five to six reps, they were fast. And I wasn't allowing myself to reset and get breath into, or, you know, get my abdominal pressure or get or allow myself to brace into the belt excuse me to allow myself to brace into the belt so as you can see the second set i'm giving time at the top so i'm allowing the weight to settle and i'm bracing again and allows the rep to be a lot easier than i it was in my previous set my previous set was a little bit difficult and i was rushing it whenever you rush it you tend to kind of get out of place and you make each rep a little bit more difficult than it actually has to be so once again this last set was a lot easier than my second set because I was giving myself time to set up and I was probably able to brace against my belt. Super Bowl goals. I'm at the crib of Puff. He got Kaepernick on the phone. He in a whole different mode. All right, welcome to day number two of this training log. Now, this workout was pretty straightforward. It was literally just a three by 10, uh, close grip. So I posted this on Twitter. A lot of people kept asking me, yo, Russell, that ain't close grip, that's normal grip. Look, whenever you're executing close grip bench, all you have to do is move in your grip maybe one to two inches at the most. You don't have to over-exaggerate whenever you're doing close grip. I Trust me, I used to be one of those people that used to bring my grip all the way to the middle knurling, and that's just completely unnecessary. You put your elbows in a compromising position, and I mean, you know, you're not gonna be able to move as much weight if you're just moving your grip in one or two inches. But I'm really satisfied with the fact that I'm able to rep out 315 pounds pretty easily on close grip bench. And you know, this, it, you know what I'm saying? You know, bench is hard to make gains on, and I'm gonna take anything I can with the weight that I'm moving. So 315 for three sets of 10 on close grip bench, that's definitely a dub. Your baby daddy a sucker, right? Your baby daddy a buster, right?
we have gotten to part three of this voiceover, and part three is actually the final part. So, you guys just watched me deadlift 635 pounds at a heavy single of RPE of six, and it honestly moved like air. And it's super exciting to kind of be back into my groove on deadlift, or back on my groove, or back into, um, you know what I'm saying? We're deadlifts is coming back. Deadlifts coming back. Pre-injury, uh, I kind of lost my groove for deadlift. I just didn't feel comfortable in any of the positions that I was starting on but this workout was a great step in the in the right direction because I just literally feel like there's not a lot of wasted motion whenever I'm deadlifting these days so there's kind of an emphasis of getting tight and that's what I've been kind of trying to exercise the last plus the last past couple of weeks because I want to stay safe you know um, a lot of the times before my injury I'd just yank the bar I'd just rely on all my muscle just kind of just pull the bar off the ground and that's not how you want to execute deadlift you want to be patient stay tight uh, make sure you're packing your lats upon itself and bracing against your belt and pulling the weight and you know if you're yanking it off the bar you kind of open yourself to injury but to explain the full workout we had a single we had a single at rp of six and then we had a three by seven at rp of six to seven as well so overall this last couple of days of training have been fantastic sorry for kind of keeping you guys out of the loop in terms of not uploading every other day but you know there's there's weeks here and there where i just want to jump inside of the gym and just kind of work out my body weight is 190 pounds i'm consistent with my macros and we're, we're killing it man we're killing it and i'm just ready for ipf worlds in the next i think we're 12 weeks out now maybe it's 13 weeks but essentially these training blocks are just going to be setting the stage for me to start peaking for ipf worlds so thank you guys for tuning into today's video if you guys like today's video please like comment share subscribe get better today i'm out hey blow up blow. i don't even understand how to fuck my plugs talk